Problem-solving strategies. Understanding number sentence relationships helps students identify equations represented in word sentences. This video series demonstrates problem-solving strategies for three different problem types using addition and subtraction. Join problems describe situations where items are combined. Separate problems describe situations where items are removed. Join and separate problems show changes over time. Compare problems, on the other hand, show how items are the same or different. This video describes the relationship amongst parts of a join problem. Let's start with a story. This is Jimmy. Jimmy has two balloons. This is Sally. Sally gives Jimmy three balloons. Now Jimmy has five balloons. This simple story is easy to imagine as a cartoon strip with a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning we'll call the start. The middle describes a change and the end describes the result. The start, change, and result of this story are easily expressed as number sentence. Now, the easiest problems to solve are those where the result is unknown. Jimmy starts with two balloons, then gets three more. The unknown result answers the question, how many balloons does Jimmy have now? We can explore the same scenario where the change is unknown. Jimmy has two balloons. Sally gave him some more balloons. And now he has five balloons. The unknown change answers the question, how many balloons did Sally give Jimmy? We can also look at the scenario where the start is unknown. Jimmy has some balloons, then Sally gave him three balloons, and now he has five balloons. The unknown start answers the question, how many balloons did Jimmy start with? When problem solving with students, practice identifying the problem type, join with the result unknown, the change unknown, or the start unknown. Using these picture stories, have students cover one frame and phrase the question to find the unknown value. Use these pictures to identify the start, change, and result. Write a sentence to describe each frame. Write a number sentence to describe what happens in the picture. Identify the question asked when one value is unknown. Now here's one for you to try on your own.